So the first item we have for you here on the 70th weekly show from Radio Free UK are the results of a survey we've been running. We got a bit tired of all these Ramonas saying that people had changed their minds and didn't like the result and 350 million was promised and betrayals, blah blah blah. So we decided to run a survey and see what people really thought. And here's the results. Well, with all the fuss we've been having from the Ramonas, uh, here at Radio Free we decided to do something about it and find out the truth. So we've been running a survey over the past few weeks and the results are now in. It was open to all to reply. The results probably do reflect our audience. So there are eight questions. And the first one is, how did you vote in the EU referendum? 83% of respondents voted leave, 17 remain. So that gives you an idea of where our audience sit. The next question was, when did you decide how you would vote? This was divided into several periods. There was the people who always knew. Then we had before the 2001 general election, before the 2005 general election, before the 2010 election, before the 2015 election, before the referendum, or during the referendum, or in the polling booth. And the results were, a whopping 56% said they always knew how they would vote. And none of the discussions or deliberations all the way through the general elections, etc. made any difference. The next largest group were 12% who said they actually decided during the referendum campaign. So our next question was, what issue most persuaded you how to vote? In this case, they're allowed to select one or more of these options. And coming in way ahead at 73% was parliamentary sovereignty. The UK deciding for itself what is best. The next group was level of migration, 55%. Uh, youngsters' future at 48%. Welfare benefits, 42 Membership fees, 39 But parliamentary sovereignty was way out there in the lead. The next question was, how would you vote if the EU referendum was held today? Now here we have 77% would vote leave, 20% remain, and 3% said they'd spoil their ballot papers. So a few people claim to have changed their minds from leave to remain, but I've got to say, the people who said that didn't actually leave email addresses, so I don't know how honest they were being. The next question was, which party did you vote for in the last general election? Unsurprisingly, 54% were UKIP, 23% Conservative, 11% Labour, 6% Other, that included non-voters, and 3% each for the Liberal Democrats and the Greens. And our next question was, what do you want most post-Brexit? And the options were, more better paid jobs, more cheaper homes, shorter NHS waiting times, access to global markets, retain single market membership, fewer EU migrants, and other. In the lead at 30% was access to global markets. Coming in second was other. And going through what people had written in, other was mostly wanting better democracy. And that wasn't just a feeling that the EU was undemocratic. Many also said that they felt that our own democracy had failed by keeping us in the EU for so long without giving us a say. And the next question was, borders and migrants, what should the UK allow EU citizens? The options were free movement, work visas, visitors visas, points based, the same as non-EU countries, whatever that is, or a freeze on all migration. And in joint lead, with 30% each, was point-based and the same as non-EU countries. The next was 18% for work visas, with only 12% for free movement. So a very clear rejection of special treatment for EU citizens over any others. And on to the EU single market. What should the UK aim for? And the options were full membership, special access, World Trade Organisation only, or don't know. And way out in the lead at 61%, people simply wanted World Trade Organisation terms. No special relationship with the EU for trading, just as they wanted no special treatment for EU migrants. And 16% each was special access and full membership of the single market. And that concludes the survey. If you visit the website, you can download a copy as a PDF. And thank you to everyone who took part.